Hello everybody. We all know from school that the Mariana Trench is the deepest place on our planet. It's a known fact that the pressure in this tectonic fault is more than a thousand times higher than the average atmospheric pressure on Earth. So, what creature could live at a depth of almost 11 kilometers? None, you say? Well, actually, there are some. And for decades, they've been intriguing researchers around the world. Today, we're going to tell you about the most amazing dwellers of the Mariana Trench. Let's get it on. First of all, we need to clarify some things to picture the conditions these creatures live in. Firstly, sunlight simply can't reach this depth. Secondly, the temperature reaches very low levels, not to mention the pressure of thousands of tons of water. Most of these deep sea creatures would die on the spot once on land because their bodies are adapted to completely different living conditions. And you can imagine what would happen to a human at the bottom of the trench. No wonder the deep sea regions of the world ocean are less explored than space. Just Imagine all the secrets these depths still hide from us. So, let's begin. Anglerfish this fish is also known as the sea devil. You must have seen some pictures of it. Nevertheless, there are almost no real photos of this fish in its habitat, as it lives only at extreme depths, which are difficult for humans to access. The name of this creature is a direct reference to its appearance. The fact is that the anglerfish has a special rod with a flashlight on its head used to lure the prey in. In fact, it's a special gland with bacteria inside it. The anglerfish itself decides whether to turn its lantern on or off off, expanding or narrowing the blood vessels. So if the vessels expand, the torch receives more oxygen and starts shining brightly. And if the blood vessels are narrowed, the light goes off. And when another fish approaches the evil light, the angler just opens his mouth and sucks in the fish in the blink of an eye. The extravagant look is completed with a huge mouth, teeth as sharp as a razor, and a shapeless body. The size of the latter, by the way, depends on the sex of the fish. The female body can reach one meter in length, while males are no more than four centimeters long. So, the tiny males often live as parasites on the body of the females, attaching to it and gradually becoming part of it. Female anglers are particularly bloodthirsty. For example, they can swallow a prey several times larger than they are. Sometimes this even leads to the death of the predator itself. That's what happens when you're too greedy. Sea cucumbers. These animals, which are sometimes mistaken for jellyfish, are quite harmless to humans. Sea cucumbers, or holothurians, spend most of their lives crawling along the seabed, including the bottom of the Mariana Trench. By the way, it's believed that it was this creature that was seen first by the members of the 1960 expedition to the Mariana Trench, and not a flatfish. Holothurians are sedentary and very clumsy creatures. Nevertheless, they have a special defense mechanism against enemies. It is a poisonous substance in their intestines that's released into the water when they feel danger. In addition, holothurians can also be useful for their fellow ocean neighbors. If necessary, they're able to provide some organism with a body to live in. Interestingly, in Asia, and especially China, sea cucumbers are actively used in cosmetics and cooking. But of course, for this purpose, they're usually grown artificially, rather than extracted from the depths of the Pacific. Hermit crab. At first glance, this hermit crab doesn't differ from other similar species living in shallow waters. But if you look closely, you can see that in fact, it's holding a sea anemone with one pair of legs. It's a flower-like coral polyp, which serves as the protective shell of the crab. Usually, hermit crabs use empty shells of shellfish instead, but this species has a slightly different structure. Because of this, it may seem that this deep sea hermit crab has fewer legs than necessary, but in fact, it just uses two of them to hold the anemone in place. When it moves, it looks like a spider. Sorry, arachnophobes. You must feel pretty uncomfortable now. <coughs> Bioluminescent jellyfish. Scientists learned about the existence of this creature in the Mariana Trench very recently, only in 2016. Incredible images of this otherworldly beauty were captured during the deep water exploration of the Marianas expedition. This fantastic jellyfish was discovered by researchers at a depth of almost 4,000 meters. According to scientists, this unusual creature is most likely a predator. Proof of that are its bioluminescent pulsating head and its tentacles. There are also speculations that the yellow organs in it its head have a reproductive function, while the red organs are responsible for digestion. Predatory tunicate 
This deep water creature is not as harmless as it might seem at first glance. While other members of the species are filter feeders, the predatory tunicate uses its giant mouth to hunt passing crustaceans and zooplankton. Believe it or not, some scientists say that these voracious creatures appeared more than 550 million years ago and could be our ancestors. Here is an unexpected rival to Darwin's theory. The matter is that these predatory creatures have both a backbone and a brain that is unprecedented for their species. The brain, however, has the unusual ability to switch off after the animal attaches to a cliff and shifts to a sedentary lifestyle. Acorn Worms did you know that the legendary film director James Cameron, who filmed world-famous movies like Titanic and Avatar, is a fan of deep-sea missions? He was the third and last of the brave men who dared to dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. As a result of this expedition, many new species of microorganisms and invertebrates were discovered in 2012, including the so-called Enteroneusts. These worm-like creatures come in a variety of species, but those that live in deep waters are particularly impressive. Some in individuals can grow up to two and a half meters long. They also have striking bright colors, unlike their relatives from shallow waters. But the most interesting thing is that these creatures can fly. In the water, of course, but still. This is possible because enteroneusts have wing-shaped folds along the body. They allow them to soar in the water, overcoming long distances. Giant Grenadier this bug-eyed fish, which can be up to one meter long, is usually found just above seafloor level. It floats slowly along its surface in search of living prey and uses a special chemical compound with a pungent smell to protect itself. By the way, grenadiers are considered to be long-lived fish. They can live as long as 70 years, and in some countries, this species is also valued in cooking. Experts say that this fish tastes much better than even the finest Atlantic cod. It's important to note that only fish that live in shallow waters taste good. The deeper it lives, the more pronounced the fishy smell is. This is caused by the trimethylamine oxide, a compound that helps fish survive under extreme pressure. So eating a grenadier caught at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is not a good idea. Giant Amphipods At first glance, you might think this is just a giant shrimp, but these creatures actually belong to the Amphipoda order of crustaceans and are not even related to shrimps. According to research, the size of the amphipods directly depends on the depth of their habitat. The deeper they live, the longer they grow. Some species of these arthropods are more than 30 centimeters long. For comparison, their shallow water relatives are usually one centimeter in length. Snailfish this fish is the deepest living creature ever found. Researchers discovered it five years ago in the Mariana Trench at a depth of more than 8,000 meters. It is a previously unknown species of snailfish, which has a transparent body, wing-like fins, and the tail of an eel. Because of the unusual appearance, some call it a ghost fish, and others think that it looks like the dragon from the famous movie Neverending Story. We agree that it's really quite pretty compared to other deep sea creatures. Abyssal Ghost Shark this creature, known as a pointy-nosed blue chimera or ghost shark, has been living in the depths of the ocean for 400 million years, but it's rarely found by people. This shark, of course, is not as huge as its ancestor, the megalodon, which reached a weight of 100 tons. but at least it scares off enemies with its otherworldly look. By the way, the name Chimera was given to it in ancient times, precisely because of its unusual appearance. In Greek mythology, there was a legend of a monstrous woman whose body consisted entirely of parts of different animals, and she was known as Chimera. The first time the ancient Greeks saw this strange fish, they decided that its body was also made up of parts of other creatures. That's how the fish got its name. Viperfish 
Meet one of the most terrifying and rare inhabitants of the depths of the Mariana Trench. This species remains poorly studied because of inaccessibility of its habitat, but according to scientists, it lives from 30 to 40 years. Viper fish try to avoid direct sunlight, and in the daytime, always tend to dive to the bottom of the ocean as deep as possible. And on the contrary, at night it's easier to meet it in shallow waters. A distinctive feature of this deep-sea creature is its sharp teeth in the form of long fangs sticking out of the mouth for everyone to see. With their help, the viperfish hunt such creatures as weavers and other smaller species, and it scares off enemies, of course. Psst, dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.